Okay, this is 137 Heritage and absolutely spotless home. This is the, um, the entryway in the back, like mudroom when you first come in. Great. And all that land to the side does go with the property all the way, you know, way back to, to um, there is a, a stone line back there, but you don't have to worry about it. It's way over there. Um, this is all maintenance-free exterior um, plants. She said they'll, they'll just come up year after year. They're annuals. Don't have to worry about it. They look great. Okay, then you come in the house the back way here. Um, you come into an absolutely gorgeous kitchen. And then you've got a very nice view right here of, of um, your property. Very nice 42 inch cupboards. The center island has your stove on it. And this is your pantry. And tray ceilings up top. I mean, just absolutely perfect. Everything is perfect condition. That's the front door right there, if you were to come in that way. Okay, you come in the front door and it goes around in a circle. You can come out to the kitchen area. Then we've got French doors here that go out to the side yard. And the side yard is actually probably your backyard. And then you've got a little um, a little um, house out there that they built that goes with it and I'll take more pictures of that but the lawnmower's out there and everything and then straight out back you've got a really nice sitting area with a nice veranda top and that's the property line right there where the stones are and you're not too too close to the next houses but if you wanted to build a wood fence there she tells me it's within the deed restrictions and you can do that and then there's the little cute little house and there's a the neighbor's barn is right behind there okay and we're looking into the living room very nice fireplace plenty of room and then if you were to go around in the circle where the front door opens, uh, the den is right here. Nice little office. It's got a fireplace in it. And then office desk area. And then this goes right around in a circle too. Great floor plan. This is the laundry area and Straight ahead are the, the other two bedrooms, but this is the laundry area where you come in and, and you've got room for stacking laundry or, or the side-by-side, -side, either one. No. Max. And if you looked that way, the master bedroom is that way. That's actually the front of the house. But there's a lot of detail even in this laundry room. You know, sink, pull sink same cupboards as the kitchen uh, and then we go straight back here and you've got the two bedrooms and if you look to your right that was the living room that we just came out of and we have two bedrooms a little on the small side but nice size closets very well decorated there and this is the uh, guest bathroom you know, the tall, tall sinks here, and this is an upgraded shower. Um, it's it's a little nicer than the standard, um, and nice fixtures and all that. But every inch of this place is quality. You know, all the fixtures real high quality. The doors are, are all um, solid doors. Um, okay, here's the other bedroom. It's a little bit bigger than, than the other one, but still it's, it, it is a small bedroom. But the closets are all big in, the, in here. And 
go to the master. Okay, the master bedroom is a little bit small, um, but the closet may make up for the lack of space in the bedroom. Okay, your master bath is right here, and the master closet is right here. As you can see, it is very, very big. It goes way, you know, way over there. And then, let's see. And master bath. And everything matches extremely well. A lot of decorator finishes. And the shower is all tile. Real high, high ceiling. Solid glass door, but not a flimsy one. And toilet area, cupboards. But everywhere you look, it's, everything is really good quality. Nice corners, very well done. Looks brand new. Okay, this is coming in the front door with some light this time. <laughs> and then right to your right, you've got the nice bar stool area overlooking the kitchen. I just have a really nice feel of the outdoors coming in here too because there's there's just so many doors and windows and you can you know, look out and see, you know, pretty landscape everywhere. So it's very pleasant. Of course, right now everything's brown. It's <laughs> not going to be real pretty, but um, but this is nice. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, this is the barn inside, and there's there's uh, opening doors on both ends for resale. This is a twenty thousand dollar barn, and any horse person is going to love it. And the property is actually set up for horses, even though you don't want horses, but the bulk of the land is down this way. So if you, for resale, that's going to be really good for um, anybody if they, if they are going to have horses. They've got all this area for horses. And if you just want to uh, mow that once a month, you can do that. But here's the, here's the back side here. Your neighbors are a little close on the back, but... Um, Again, I'm almost thinking if you were to put up a, um, a wood fence across the back, that would shelter you from that. And then there's nothing else around that's going to bother you. Or you might just decide to put your dogs down in that area. But this is the back side of the house. Looks really good for entertaining. You've got the, um, the shade um, trellises over here. That cute little windmill. I think that's where the pump is, the water pump. And then again, your property line ends right where these um, stones are. And I almost think I would do wood fence from there over there. And then you can do a different kind of fence somewhere uh, the rest of the way. But they said it's landscape. They just spent $20,000 landscaping all the way around the house. Professionally done. And it's all professional sod here. And... to tell you this is a cute little place really nice very quiet out here and in the summertime the views are gonna be beautiful okay this is from the drive this is from the driveway oh, you're landscaping this is the side door which you probably use most and then we're going to the front of the house You can see your front yard. The boundaries are where the stones are. And as you look across the way, your neighbors there aren't going to bother you a bit. And I don't think that looks like a buildable piece of land right there. It looks, I don't know, I don't think that's a lot. Might be. It, yeah, I guess it is. If you look down there in that house, yeah, it probably is. So eventually you'll probably have neighbors across the street. But this neighbor 
Okay, that neighbor, see your stones are the border, and that is your neighbor's lot, so you're never going to have a house right there. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. good. And never one here. And of course, never one on the other side where your lot is. Very pretty to have up. There's your front door. pretty house and they even have accent lighting out here on the and of course every bit of this on a timer oh okay lights are on the timer and um, of course every bit of this is is has a sprinkler system on it um, all around to the back not that not the the part way over there but everything that's sodded is, is done and that's a high end unit at the back and the front yard is I, oh, okay, that's the high-end Bermuda, too. She said very low, very low maintenance. You almost never have to mow it. That would be nice. All right. Okay, this is the street view of um, 137 Heritage Parkway. So you can kind of see. Drive up the hill. Looks like they've planted a lot of nice trees. In the summertime, that would be beautiful. This is really a pretty lot. It's going to really bloom in the summer right now. It's pretty stark.